It is the first game of the NBA season. The Washington Wizards visit the Miami Heat to kick off the season. Both teams looking to start out 1-0 and make a strong push to remake last season and return to the playoffs. The Miami Heat introduced new pieces such as Allen Iverson, Amir Johnson, and Luol Deng. The Washington Wizards introduced Paul Pierce as their new small forward, starting small forward. Let's get into the starting lineup for the Miami Heat coming out. Number 21, Hassan Whiteside, replacing Chris Bosh, who was traded to the Toronto Raptors in return for Amir Johnson. Number 15, a 6'9 power forward, looking to fill in the role that many players filled last year for the Miami Heat. Trying to replace arguably the best player in the NBA, LeBron James, Luol Deng, number 9, formerly of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and most notably the Chicago Bulls. He will try to fill those shoes that LeBron has left. Your guys' hometown hero, the Miami Heat for life, Dwayne Wade, number 3, out of Marquette University, 6'4", shooting guard. And finally, the newest superstar to join the Miami Heat and try to form the dynamic duo in the backcourt, Allen Iverson, number five out of Georgetown, MVP of the 2000 to 2001 season with the Philadelphia 76ers. Head coach is Eric Spolstra, who has led the Heat to four straight NBA finals. On to the Washington Wizards, they have one of the youngest, most talented backcourts in the NBA, bolstering Bradley Beal at shooting guard and John Wall at point guard, only to be comparable to Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, the young guards out at Golden State. New small forward Paul Pierce will try to contribute his consistency and veteran leadership, and Nene and Gortat, one of the best big men combo in the league. Let's get this game underway. Hassan Whiteside will jump against Gortat. And the Wizards will win the toss and take it the other way. They'll drive it in quick, kick it out. He'll pass up on the three-pointer. He will dribble around. And they're going to find Bradley Beal wide open for the three-pointer to put the first points on the board in this game. Allen Iverson with his team down two is going to drive into the lane and pull up for a nice two, putting the heat up one. Allen Iverson coming over pretty much out of retirement to play for the heat. Dwayne Wade, the superstar, though, he's going to get fouled and bank it in and pick up Bradley Beal's first foul. Dwayne Wade with a nice kiss off the glass to pick up his first points of the season and the three-point play. He would go on to make the free throw. The Wizards bring the ball up. Iverson's going to poke it out, get it himself, and do the self value and the slam. Allen Iverson having a very nice first quarter here as a member of the Miami Heat. He's going to get the nice pickpocket and the slam. He read it perfectly, poked that ball right out, and headed the other way. He had Whiteside with him there, but decided to take it all on his own and do the self alley to himself. The Heat are now up by one, but Allen Iverson's going to find a wide open three and put the Heat up four and force the Wizards to call a timeout. Ball kicked out. Wade's going to take a three and drain it, putting the Heat up five now, 16 to 11. Wade's going to bring it up again. Look to step back. He's going to take it at Beal, step back again, and drain the free throw line jumper. Dwayne Wade's most signature shot, taking those mid-range jumpers, putting the heat up. Now only three, and he's going to beat the buzzer in order to drain that one and give the Heat a six-point lead at the end of the first quarter. A nice-looking three right there. It's going to it's gonna rattle in and then roll down. A nice-looking three, giving the Heat a nice six-point lead. Coming out in the second quarter, now up only four. Driving in the lane, and Terrence Ross, the slam dunk master from Toronto, is going to get the nice two-handed jam right there, putting the Heat up a nice uh, six points. Now up three again. He's going to get the ball again and slam it down again, a one-handed slam. He's going to turn around. He's going to receive the ball and immediately flip around, totally fooling the defense and get the nice slam. Another, an alley-oop here. This one to Allen Iverson. And Iverson's nice jam is going to put the Heat up three in this early, midway through the second quarter. Iverson with a nice reverse. He had to adjust to catch it. Adjusted perfectly and got the nice slam. Wade kind of messing around in the corner with the dribble. Kicks it back out. Iverson's going to have to take a deep three to beat the clock. And he's going to hit it. 
a deep three from Allen Iverson, beating the shot clock, putting the Heat up five. Now up two, it's going to bounce off. Looking for Terrence Ross to hit it, it's not going to go, and that's going to be the end of the first half. The Heat up two points heading into halftime. Despite better performance in the first half compared to the Wizards, but the Heat will take a nice solid two-point lead into halftime. The sprint halftime report, going over some of the team stats, the Heat have shot 12% better from the field, 4% less from the three throws, but the big thing is six steals to one turnover for the Wizards. Flip that for the Heat. Allen Iverson, the game's leading uh, scorer with 19 points. Amir Johnson leading the game with six rebounds. And Luol Deng leading it with three assists. Not many assists going on so far early into this game. But there has been a decent amount of scoring at 42-40. Could be showed at, viewed as low. But the Heat are going to start out here in the second half. And Dwayne Wade's going to make the acrobatic shot. Which was contested by Gortat. But Wade's going to get that one to drop. Iverson coming up the court. He's going to push it. He's going to find a lane. Hit him with the little stutter step. And then the two-handed throw down. Allen Iverson hits him with the step back. And then the beautiful two-handed slam. Hits a little bit of a stutter step there. And he's going to be able to slam that one home. The, the Heat get the ball off of a steal. Passing it among everybody here. And he's going to kick it. And it's going to be kicked back out again. And they're going to find a wide open Luol Dang for the three. Luol Dang getting some points here in the second half after scoring none in the first. The Heat now playing defense looking. It's going to get tipped by Trey Burke. And then it's going to get fed right back to him. Nick Young finds Trey Burke. And the Heat get a wide open Trey Burke slam after he tipped it back to Nick Young. And then the beautiful pass forward to him. The Heat now down six. But a nice driving layup. A one-handed off layup by Dwayne Wade. The Heat's down by eight now. Getting outscored a little bit here in the third. But a nice fadeaway three-pointer from Allen Iverson. The fadeaway wasn't necessary. But he got it to go down anyway. Dwayne Wade's going to bring it. Or Terrence Ross is going to bring it in the lane. Kick it back out. Allen Iverson's going to dribble. Wall's going to step back and give that cushion. And Allen Iverson's going to make him pay for it. Down six here. The Heat need to get something going. Clock running down. Dwayne Wade's going to pull up from the free throw and knock it down. Corner of the free throw line. Dwayne Wade's going to knock it down. A beautiful shot. Heat now in transition here. Nowhere to go for AI. Iverson finds Terrence Ross, though. And Terrence Ross is going to knock down the three. Bringing the Heat within one here early into the fourth quarter. Now down three still. Allen Iverson bringing it up the court. Iverson's going to step back. Wall's going to back off. And Iverson's going to hit the beautiful three. Nothing but net from Allen Iverson. And Allen Iverson's having himself a game here. Bringing the ball up. Looking. He's got a man. Nick Young decides better of taking that three. And it pays off fighting a wide open Luol Dang. Giving the Heat a three point lead. Now the Heat on defense. It's going to get stolen again by Trey Burke. Trey Burke with two very beautiful steals. And he's going to go up. And do the two-handed slam. Trey Burke, two very nice steals in this game. Showing that he deserves to be on this team and the amount of minutes that he's been given. Coming up the court, they're going to find Nick Young. And Nick Young's going to pull up. Bang! And the Heat now up. Eight. The Heat getting catching fire here at the end of the fourth quarter. And now Terrence Ross is going to beat his man. And the dirty slam by Terrence Ross. And he's going to let everybody know after he comes down. Yelling at people, yelling at players. He's hyped. So the Heat now bring it up. Chris Anderson gets the pass. It's tipped, but somehow Terrence Ross recovers, and he slams it home. The Heat now up 11 with only one minute to go, and they've all but sealed this game. The Heat now looking for the final dagger, passing the ball around the perimeter, wasting time, trying to secure some clock off, and there's the final three, and there's the dagger. Dwayne Wade's going to stick the dagger in the Washington Wizards' heart. The Wizards are going to try to heave up a final shot here with seconds remaining, and it's not even going to make it to the hoop. The Miami Heat are going to improve to 1-0 on the season. They win their season opener at home. They defend their home court. The Wizards had them early in the fourth, up by as many as 10, but the Miami Heat clawed themselves back, got hot from the three-point line, and were able to come away with the victory. A nice 14-point victory for the Heat. The Heat are heading into the locker room. Not too much congratulations or handshakes after the game. They're quick into the locker room. 
and your player of the game is going to be Allen Iverson, who had himself one heck of a game for his first game in Miami. He played well, shot good from the from three point, made some nice contested layups along with some dunks. He also facilitated the ball decently well and played all around really good defense. Had the real nice steal to start the game, but other than that, didn't have much after that, but still played very well defense. Player of the game, he had 33 points, five assists, matching his number, and three rebounds. Pulled down three rebounds, not terrible for your point guard. But Allen Iverson making an impact early here with the Miami Heat. No one knew how well he would play, matched up with Dwayne Wade. Didn't know how well Dwayne Wade would play with the absence of LeBron, but Wade had played very well in this game. Very well could have been player of the game had Iverson gotten himself 33. Iverson looks to become the superstar, maybe chase that second MVP, and also a chance to get back to the NBA Finals where he lost in 2000 to 2001 against the Los Angeles Lakers. He'll look here to try to bring this Heat team. Him and Wade will try to carry this Heat team who has a very nice bench and some skilled players to go around them. Good defender like Luol Deng, rebounders like Chris Anderson and Hassan Whiteside will help try to get this Miami Heat team back to the NBA Finals. The final the final score here, going along with the stats, the Heat are going to walk away. 94-80. to 80. Dwayne Wade had 20 had 20-plus uh, points himself. Terrence Ross had 14, the third leading scorer. Uh, Dang scored eight all in the second half, wasn't able to get any shots to go in the first half. Whiteside and Anderson had themselves nice game rebounding wise, didn't take too many shots, but were able to rebound. Burke only had four points, but they were huge points coming off of his own self-created steals. Nick Young had a nice game hitting, draining the one three along with the uh, one free throw, one out of two free throws. That's going to do it for this game. I'll catch you guys in next the next game where we will be taking on the Toronto Raptors and Chris Bosh. I'll see you guys then.